This is the historic Aloha Lodge estate in Lake Geneva. Look at this. It can all be yours. Yeah, it's just 20,000 square feet. It's a mansion that's now on the market, and the sale price is the most expensive in Wisconsin. $35 million. It's the most expensive listing we've seen in a while, but whoo, look at this baby. I'll take it. <laughs> Joining us now to talk about this rare piece of real estate is the senior broker at Christie's International Real Estate, Brandy Malay Chevalis. All right, we're talking eight bedrooms, 11 full bathrooms, five half bathrooms, lots of space to have to <laughs> clean but I'm perfectly willing to try to take it on. Tell us more about this. So it's amazing. Like this is a historic, iconic estate that is unmatched in my opinion. It is, I, I can't even, it's hard sometimes to articulate. I'm so honored and humbled to be a part of it and to be its steward. Drake, this is the Drake Mansion, right? I mean, if we know the Drake Hotels down in Chicago, that's who owned this home 123 years ago. Is that correct? Look at that kitchen. That is correct. So Tracy Drake, back in 1900, he commissioned Howard Van Dorn Shaw to build this gorgeous piece of uh, home in on the lakefront in the, called Aloha Lodge because the family spent a lot of time in Hawaii and felt that the sunsets on Lake Geneva matched the ones on their vacations in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That came about. So it is a masterpiece. It was renovated in 2011, or excuse me, 2007 to 2011 by Hummel Construction. So the original structure in the center is um, still in place. And then they built a wing on each side of the home, as well as a pool house and city pool, jacuzzi. There are five boat slips, two of which are covered. There's also a captain's house, which houses your guests, and then there's a train station that has model trains. I mean, it looks beautiful. We're looking at all the images of it and the sunset that you were talking about that <laughs> matches what Hawaii sunset, I'm sure, looks like never been. You know, this home is 20,000 square feet. We've talked about some of the stats of it. $35 million, the state's most expensive home on the market right now. How, realistically, how many actual potential buyers will look at a property like this before a deal is struck? I mean, are we talking one or two? Yeah, how many rich people are out there? <laughs> There's more than you actually think. You know, like <laughs> market, as I'm sure you know, um, it draws a lot because the, the titans of industry back when the, there was the Chicago fire, right? They came up here to build homes while well, their homes in the city were being rebuilt. So you have a lot of names up there, you know, the Wrigley's um, and a lot of others that still continue to have homes on the lake. So what our buyer, you know, demographic is, is usually somebody who lives down in Chicagoland area, wants to have a summer um, retreat for their family, or it is somebody who's already on the lake that kind of wants to move up. Mm -hmm. But there are there are more buyers out there than you think. Ooh, have you have that. you called Giannis Antetokounmpo yet? I know there's a lot of Illinois people down in Lake Geneva, but this is Wisconsin. It's a short drive. He could be at the training facility down in downtown Milwaukee in no time. I, you know what? I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm from Wisconsin. I'm just saying from the last few sales that have happened on the lake, they've happened to be Illinois buyers. But we welcome one. We welcome all. I don't care if they come from New York, L.A., Dallas. I just want to see the property go to the right hands. Without a doubt, and especially for $35 million. Cha-ching! Look at that kitchen. I just can't get enough of this. The oval architecture of the whole thing looks awesome. Brandy, thanks for spending the time with us, and thank you for sharing this gorgeous masterpiece. Thank you for having me on. It was a pleasure. Unbelievable. It's great, because I've been looking for a place for my train set, and it needs its own 1,800-square-foot house, and this is the perfect house for that. So We're going to go in halvesies with this whole thing. So. <laughs> Call me. We will. All right, Brandy, next big house you're about to sell, come on back on and we'll show it off because it's fun to take a peek inside and see if there's someone out there who wants and dream it. Dream big, right? <laughs> Thanks.